Hey, it's Jake Mace. I got something I want to show you guys. It's really cool. Does anybody know what this is? Message me and let me know if you do. You know, I went vegan when I was 19 years old and I have not eaten any, you know, dairy or meat products. I've been totally vegan since then, since 2002. I decided that I wanted to start growing my vegan food at my house because I didn't see the point of paying so much money for my diet. A vegan diet is not necessarily expensive. I just wanted to save money on my food bill and growing food at home was intriguing to me. It doesn't make any sense to me when you go to a store like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods to buy dates or something and they've got date palms around the store with dates on them. And even though the store is selling dates for like 10 bucks a pound, they'll have landscapers come and cut the dates down growing outside the store and throw them in the trash. I mean, honestly, the way we think about food is so effed up. We all are working for the man, trying to get money so we can go to the store and to the restaurant and buy crappy food. Any good gardener out there will tell you that the fruit and the produce you grow in your garden is infinitely tastier and better than the stuff you buy at the store. So stop investing your money in the big ag companies and in the stores that you don't know and instead invest it in yourself, in your home, and in your garden. So I decided to plant 25 female fruiting date palms here at my home and this is date pollen that I'm going to put on the flowers of the dates. Once I sprinkle this pollen on the date palm tree flowers, I'll get an abundant harvest of dates for free at my house. And if you can't grow it yourself, network or barter with somebody who you can trade with. Like I traded my friend Erica something for this date pollen. Hey, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to walk over here and pick a kumquat off my kumquat tree and eat it for free. And that's the power of becoming more self-sufficient and growing your own food at your home, especially if you're vegan. For your vegan people out there who are listening to me, grow at home. I think it's really sexy when all my vegan friends out there are posting all their like food porn photos and videos of the restaurants and the food they're making from the store. I think it's even sexier when those vegan people grow the food at home and then turn it into something beautiful. It'll also be more nutrient dense and tastier as well. So here are two of my date palms and this one right here has the flowers on it, which I'll show you in the next snap. Here's my male pollen. I'm gonna take my pruners here and just cut a little finger of pollen off. Look at all that pollen dropping off of there. Amazing. Next to this female fruiting mulberry tree that's loaded with fruits, so you can see them in there, the red ones. Here is my date flowers. I'm gonna just take this finger of pollen. See, pollen is the white one, flowers is the yellow one. And I'm gonna just flick it against the flowers and see if you can see the pollen dropping off the male into the female. It's like puffs of smoke. Here, I got some more so it's more dramatic for you guys. There, you can see it now. That's how we fertilize or pollinate the flowers. There we go. Instead of going to a menial job and earning some money to go to the store and buy crappy dates, I chose to put my labor and time into this. This is a six-year-old pomegranate tree starting to flower by my buddy Leo the tortoise and Pepper and Soup by there chilling by the avocado tree. That's why I call myself the vegan athlete because I really believe that vegans got to be more athletic so that they can show that vegan is strong. Grow your food at home and go vegan today.